During the twin flame connection we find ourselves confused, frustrated and hurt by the inconsistency of communication from our twin. While internally we feel their unconditional love for us, externally they may be acting cold and aloof. Perhaps our twin flame who once treated us like nothing else mattered in the world suddenly tells us they want nothing more to do with us, yet the energy and love emanating from their heart hasn't changed. The thing to know about telepathy between twin flames is that while words can easily deceive us, the energy received through the heart chakra does not and cannot lie. The biblical fable of the Tower of Babel tells the story of how God put an end to the one language, thought to have been telepathy, and how this led to misunderstanding and deception among the humans since they were no longer able to communicate from the heart. This has very much been the state of humanity these past centuries. However with the awakening of the heart-centered consciousness, people everywhere are tapping into the ability to lovingly and honestly communicate regardless of all cultural, religious, linguistic and ethical barriers. Twin flames are at the forefront of the heart awakening. Since it is their divine mission to anchor the heart-centered consciousness and divine love onto the earth plane. The language of the heart requires no translation, decoding or interpretation and therefore we are able to energetically tell whether our twin is being genuine and authentic in the words they speak. Our heart also tells us when we are not being true to ourselves and as our heart center activates, it becomes harder and harder not to align with the infinite love that we are. My twin flame often commented on how he felt like I could see into his soul and how he could not hide anything from me. It is simply impossible to hide anything from our twin flame, and when our twin's words and thoughts don't match, we can perceive this. One day as I lovingly confronted my twin about the inconsistency in the way he yearned for a deeper love yet chose to remain in a codependent relationship, I could actually hear his thoughts as if they were being spoken out loud. We were in the same room, and he was acting extremely nervous and I could hear him repeating to himself I've done my soul searching, I know what I want all over again, like a mantra of self-denial. I didn't even realize at first that he wasn't speaking the words out loud since it sounded the same to me. However when I called him up on it I could feel just how exposed and vulnerable he felt. It takes a lot of guts and courage to look our twin in the eye when we have unresolved emotions and feelings and this is also one of the reasons we run from our twin. Ironically, to attempt to hide away from the one whom we cannot hide from. It can be truly terrifying to have our feelings revealed when we are not even ready to admit them to ourselves. But the truth is, they are already being felt and known, whether we like it or not. The ways in which we connect there are many ways in which twin flames share telepathically and project themselves on each other. Generally speaking, when our twin reaches out to us, we recognize them by the unique energy that they convey. We may feel a quickening of our heart, and sense their presence slash essence or smell their fragrance. Sometimes we are able to actually feel them touch us, usually by feeling a gentle caress on our hair, cheek, lips, hand etc. We are able to feel their warmth embrace us. Sometimes this happens at the most inconvenient time, the other day my twin visited when I was at work on my way to the restroom. It is okay to send our twin away if the timing is off or if we simply cannot handle their energy at that time. Our twin soul loves us unconditionally and won't mind. Twin flames also often share the same dreams and communicate telepathically in the dream state and it is not unusual for the twins to have had reoccurring dreams of one another prior to meeting. Equally many twins, such as I, have developed a psychic connection with their twin flame before meeting them physically and have been aware of the other on some level since their earliest childhood. Furthermore, the lives and daily events of the twin flames are often filled with synchronicities and unusual parallels. Whatever passes through one mind also passes through the other, in one way or another, and so the twins often find themselves reading the same books, sharing interests, 
liking the same music etc. These parallels often happen without any traditional knowledge of what the other is doing and can be as simple as one twin suddenly receiving the inspiration to cook many elaborate dishes only to find that the other was doing just that during that same time. As an example, when my twin immersed himself in his new job for a Japanese company, I signed up to study Japanese at university, and when he attempted to adopt a child, I instantaneously became an advocate for adoption, something I had never been involved with in the past. We also know that we are picking up on our twin when we feel overwhelming emotions and feelings which seem to come out of nowhere. We might burst out crying for no apparent reason, or feel intense anger or happiness, want to laugh out loud etc. It is important to get to know ourselves so that when these emotions hit us, we are able to simply recognize them as coming from our twin, and let them go lovingly. Personally, one of the most mind-blowing experiences of twin flame telepathy is without a doubt being able to talk to our twin in our head, and to be heard. For example, one day as I was getting ready to leave my twin's flat, I looked back at him and in my mind said see you later alligator. Instantly he replied out loud in a wild crocodile. In my mind, I replied I knew you were going to say that. Only to hear him say I know you did out loud. Sometimes twin flames share lengthy conversations which seem to happen entirely in the mind. This mind chatter can be a maddening experience since it can last hours and be quite relentless. Sometimes these confessionals go on so late into the night that we cannot help but fall asleep regardless, only to be woken up by the chatter in the middle of the night. The times where I have experienced this most intensely have been after my Kundalini awakening and after our mutual surrender. The conversations are very much like the intense face-to-face -face conversations that we would have had at the time if we had seen each other and involved planning next steps, and explaining recent internal growth and insights to the other, as well as mutual reassurance and expressions of love. Naturally, telepathy is just as strong when the awakened twins are face-to-face and their physical presence provides an excellent opportunity to validate their experiences. After my Kundalini awakening I found that I could literally touch my twin with my mind. The day I discovered this I was stood all the way across the room from my twin, and he was sat down at his desk, with his back to me. A thought crossed my mind, I wanted to run my fingers through his hair and kiss his neck softly with my lips. It was just a passing thought, yet in the same instant that it appeared in my mind, my twin jumped up, putting his hand on his neck. He asked me if I had touched him, even though he could see that I was too far away for that. I said no, but I thought about it. He said he had felt something, like fingers, running through his hair. I smiled, that was me. We hope this channel has helped you discover where to start on your actual paths. Please like, subscribe, share, and leave your suggestion in the field below. With all the love to you.